Welcome to another edition of Talking Models. Today's painting tutorial is going to be on John Dennett's Frankenstein 1931 from Moon Devil Studios. The good news is he's getting ready to re-release this beautiful kit. So I will have John's contact information at the end of the video and you can reach out and tell him you gotta have one of these and you've seen it on Talking Models and Troy sent you. How many of you remember this film? Frankenstein, 1931. This is the legacy collection of all the films from 31 through 48. A must have if you're a fan of Frankenstein. Pick it up on Amazon, plug, plug. Well, let's talk a little bit about what I did to bring this beautiful piece to life. He lives. Are you ready? Let's talk about the monster. I started with priming the complete kit with Sandoval Automotive Gray Primer. After I had done that, I decided I was going to start with the base. I base coated the complete base using Garage US Jet Black and I sprayed the body with Freak Flex Body Bag Black. That way I have two separate starting points and as you can see uh, two different blacks and that gave me what I was looking for to get this piece moving. So I began by base coating the nameplate with Freak Flex Hammer Horror Red and I followed that up with some dry brushing of the rocks on the base with Delta Cream Coat Mudstone. I used Freak Flex Old Rack Rust for the lettering and Body Bag Black for the small strip below the monster and the lettering for the bottom section of the base I used Anita's Metallic Black. And that's that whole area that goes around the bottom. That was the uh, metallic black. Don't let it scare you. It yeah, it's metallic-y, but once you dull coat it, it just gives you a nice flow of different blacks. I just love the way it uh, it turns out. So you've got the old rack rust for the lettering, the body bag black for the small strip below the monster name. And of course the bottom section of the base was that metallic black. At this point I moved up to the shirt and the jacket. I base coated the shirt using Freak Flex Nair Black and started adding more coloring to the jacket using Freak Flex Mummified Brown. At this point I came in with the Awada Transparent Black to quiet everything down. And I, at this point, I added some shading using that uh, transparent black around the nameplate. That way you have the red, and it kind of blends out to that black, which then blends right into the uh, rocks around it. So I came back in with the mudstone and dry brushed in more highlights. And I added more highlights to the shirt with Freak Flex Nair Black. And of course, more highlighting to the jacket with the mummified brown. And believe it or not, the base was done. On to the monster. I primed the head using Badger Style of Res Gray. And that point I base coated the head using Reaper Bloodless Skin. I really like that color from the Reaper line of, from the Master Series. It's ideal, obviously, for vampires. But it, this gave me a nice starting point uh, for the monster because, it, after all, he was dead. So I pulled out some Freak Flex Body Bake Black for the hair and then I shaded areas of the face with the transparent black. I then came in with the Body Bake Black once again to detail the smaller hairs on the side of his head and the forehead area. I pulled out some Garage US Tongue for below the eyes, spray that lightly and I added highlights on the face with Freak Flex Frankenflesh. I then pulled out some Garage US Transparent Mars Red and I added more stress to the area below the eyes and for the scar on the forehead and of course the scar on the side of his face. I followed that up with a wad of Transparent Purple for more bruising around the scars 
and also the bolt areas on the sides of his neck. That way it's got like a bruising look to the scar area. I pulled out some Awada Riojo's vein flesh and I used that for the vein on his forehead and I came back in once again with the transparent black for my shading and yet again more highlighting to the face using the Franken flesh. At this point I decided to paint in the eye areas using the Freak Flex Banshee's Gray and base coated the bolts and staple on the top of his forehead using Freak Flex Body Bag Black. And I came in then and simply sprayed the bolts and the staple using the Freak Flex Silver Bullet. I used Freak Flex Ripper Red for the center of the scars and of course uh, at this point I added uh, yet again more highlights on the face using the Franken flesh. Are you ready? Because it's time to finish off the monster. I painted in the eyes using Freak Flex Body Bake Black. And I wanted to, what I simply did there was use like a half moon, if you will. If you remember a lot of times, uh, certain shots when he was looking up, the monster's eyes were kind of like going up into his eye sockets. And I pulled out once again the Garage US tongue to paint in the lower eyelid areas. And yet again, more highlights using the Banshee's gray to the eyes. So it starts building up that uh, whitish look to grayish look to his sunken eyes. And some more highlights using the Franken flesh. Now for the eye color, I use Freak Flex Wooden Stake Brown for my base coat. And then lighten up the eye color by adding some Banshee's gray, mixing that up and then I just painted in the eye once again and then of course painted in the pupil using the body bag black and believe it or not the kit was done this one was a joy to paint uh, I'm glad John's uh, reintroducing these kits to everybody because they're a beautiful line hopefully he will follow suit and release the others from the series now, if you want to contact John over at Moon Devil Studios, I will put his email in right about now. And you can simply email him and say, Hey, Troy over at Talking Models told me you're re-releasing this beautiful sculpt, and I want one. And I'm sure he'll be happy to oblige. And when the uh, castings are ready, one will be on its way to a home near you. So that's today's painting tutorial. I'll let you take kind of a quick look at this one so you can see what I mean. There's just so much, uh, it's just simple, but yet it's breathtaking. A tribute, the monster, 1931. You can see John captured a lot of detail in the face of uh, Boris Karloff's portrayal of the monster. You can just turn it this way so you can kind of take a peek. Turn it yet again to the back. You can see uh, John Dennett has his name in there on the base. We'll go to the other side so you can see that. And then of course uh, as we do the hokey pokey and turn ourselves around, we're right back to the front. Move it in just a little bit closer for you. And you can just see how beautiful of a kit this is. It's a nice heavy piece and it's a half scale and uh, if you're a fan of the monster a fan of the film Frankenstein here it is so thanks for uh, stopping in today uh, for this painting tutorial on the monster 1931 and uh, let me tell you if you haven't subscribed to the channel I'm on a quest for 500 subscribers I'd love for you to be one of them just uh, practice with me. Get your finger, you lift it up in the air, on the bottom of the video you see uh, something that says subscribe. You take your finger, now work with me, and you reach in there and you go BOOM! And you're a subscriber. You're in the family. And I would greatly appreciate it. So I hope that everybody's staying safe. I hope that everybody's building models. I hope that people are uh, Reevaluating what's important to them during this last year and really trying to be better 
than you were before this all started. So how will you come out on the other side of this? That's going to be the question only you can answer. So once again, thank you for stopping in to Talking Models. And as always, may the Lord bless your day.